Hello friends, in this video, first we are going to see different types of substation technologies and after that we will see a new substation technology that is hybrid insulated substation. These types of substation were introduced in late 90s and after that they have become the source of efficient, reliable and flexible power transmission. So let's begin. So first we will see what is an electrical substation. An electrical substation can be defined as the part of power system which is used for transformation of voltage from low to high or high to low level for transmission, distribution and switching purpose. There are basically two types of electrical substation that is air insulated substation and gas insulated substation. First we will see what is an air insulated substation. An air insulated substation uses air to insulate the different components of the substation from each other as well as for grounding the charge. These are the traditional type of substation which we have visited many times in our college days. Advantages of air insulated substation are easier future extension, low construction cost and cost of switch gear, easy maintenance, easy to notice and attend faults and less erection time. The disadvantages of air insulated substation are large space requirement. This is the biggest disadvantage of AI substation because it requires acres of land to build a transmission substation. And in today's age where there is a crave for space everywhere, this becomes the biggest disadvantage of AI substation. To overcome these disadvantages, we have moved on to new substation technology that is gas insulated substation. Gas insulated substation is a high voltage substation in which the major structures are contained in a sealed environment with sulfur hexafluoride gas as the insulating medium. Here, the, all the switching components of the substation are contained in a sealed environment and that is filled with SF6 gas. Now we'll see what are the advantages of GIS substation. Safe, economical, space saving. Space saving is the biggest advantage of GIS substation. Because uh, GIS substation reduces, just requires 10% of space as compared to AI substation. The whole transmission substation can be just taken into a single room. So this becomes the biggest advantage for urban areas. Maintenance free, shop assembled. This type of substation comes shop assembled and shop tested. And the weight of this type of figure modules is also very low. Uh, the disadvantage of gas insulated substations are higher cost. This is the biggest disadvantage because it, uh, it requires a very high capital cost. Procurement and supply of SFC gas, requirement of separate building, regular cleaning requirement, long outage period if any fault occurs. These are the disadvantages of GIS substation. Now, to overcome the, these disadvantages, we have got another substation technology that is hybrid insulated substation hybrid insulated substation means his substation these substations can be stated as the future of efficient reliable and flexible power transmission now what is a hybrid insulated substation a substation which uses both type of insulating technologies that is ais and gis one to extinguish the arc and other to connect to the different equipment of high voltage substation. HIS uses both type of uh, substation technologies, insulation technologies that is air and gas. HIS adopts GIS technology for the main infrupting components. For the main infrupting component, high insulating medium is required and SF6 is better insulating medium than air. So here GIS technology is used for circuit breaker and disconnect earthing switches. SIS uses AIS where low insulating properties are required like for bus bars and to connect to the grid or insulated bushings for connecting to the bus bars. Now we will see how actually HIS module reduces space. HIS module's advantage is it reduces space with low cost. So we will see how does it reduce space. Here in the rectangled blue box we can see two disconnector and earthing switches and one circuit breaker. These whole 
components can be replaced by a single HRS module. So this reduces the space with the help of HRS module. Now this is the typical HRS switching module. This comprises of near about 11 components, 11 different components like circuit breaker, current transformer, voltage transformer. The main difference between GIS module and HRS module is that HRS module just insulates the main components like circuit breaker, current transformer, voltage trans transformer. It does not insulate the bus bars, LAs, like these components, it does not insulate bus bars and lightning resistance. So this is the main difference between HIS and GIS. Now let's see one by one different components. First and the very important component of any substation is circuit breaker module. This is the centerpiece of HIS switch gear module. In the small diagram, we can see that orange space. This is where the circuit breaker is located in the actual HIS module. It consists of two elements, stored energy spring mechanism and interrupter circuit. The stored energy spring mechanism provides that mechanical energy to just open the circuit breaker. Now disconnecting and earthing switches. Disconnecting and earthing switches are combined in a three position unit. There are three position unit, neutral position, disconnector close and earthing switch close. These are the three position of disconnecting and earthing switches. That orange, there is a small diagram that orange highlighted area is the area where disconnecting and earthing switches are uh, located in HIS module. First one is neutral position. In neutral position, both the contacts, it means earth switch contact and disconnect the contact, both the contacts are open. In disconnector close position, the earthing switch contact is open, but the disconnector contact is closed. In the third position, the earthing switch contact is open and disconnector is closed. Instrument transformer. These are instrument transformer are employed for the purpose of measurement and protection. The orange highlighted area is the area where instrument transformers are located in the actual HIS module. Here, optimized performance inductive type instrument transformers are installed. The instrument transformers are current transformers and voltage transformers. Current transformer is used for current measurement and voltage transformer is used for voltage measurement. Next is termination module. Termination modules link the HIS base to the equipment by the means of following overhead lines, transformer or reactor and cable. Thus, they form the transition from SF6 gas insulation inside the enclosure to the other insulating media. Following termination modules are used in HIS cable termination, SF6 air termination and transformer tube termination. The termination module is located in the orange highlighted area in the diagram. Conclusion. After assessing advantages of all the substation, we can say that HIS is definitely more efficient, reliable and flexible method of power transmission due to its following advantages. Less space requirement as compared to AIS, low cost as compared to GIS. With the help of HIS module, two main problems of power transmission are resolved, that is high space uh, requirement and high cost. Both the problems are reduced with the help of HIS substation.